De Jour, you guys are now one win away from the NCAA tournament, so let's start there and then we'll backtrack a little bit. How's it feel to be on, on the cusp of something really big around here? Man, I'm not trying to get overexcited because last year we've been there, you know, came up short. So today we're just going to do what we did yesterday, take care of our bodies, you know, prepare for tomorrow. There's two great teams playing out here tomorrow that we're going to be preparing for one of them tonight. So, you know, we just want to stay humble. You know, we got another game tomorrow. Delaware battled, man. They didn't have the talent that you guys had maybe, but they battled their ass off for the whole game. Just take me out there a little bit. I mean, what's it like being you? They're denying on the inbounds practically the entire game. And, I mean, look, you, you talk, not me. That, that, that team right there, they well coached. They got some great players on their team, you know, that could go out and get 30 any given night, you know. We just tried to make them take tough shots. You know, that's a great team. You can't get them open looks because it's automatic, you know. So we tried to, you know, make them force some, some tough shots, you know, around the rim, not let them put up as many threes because, you know, of course they got Darwin, that kid Allen, they, they, they shoot the lights out the ball. So we just wanted to make them, like, shot, shade them a little bit, you know. So, um, and going back to me, I'll do whatever to make my team win, you know. So they was they was denying me, and I told my coach, I said, use me as a decoy, you know. Let Jalen Ray and Elijah, Tariq, and uh, Isaac go to work. So I just was like, all right, use me as a decoy, do whatever you can. I'll stand in the corner, whatever it is. I'll get the offense and try to get it running. If I can't get the ball, just I trust my teammates to go to work, and that's what they did tonight. They showed up a lot, big time. And you guys jump out to a 20-point lead in the second half, and I'll be honest with you, I took my foot off the gas. I thought it was a wrap, and then they come back a little bit. So that last three or four minutes, it starts to get a little chippy. Did you ever feel the pressure? Was there ever a thought in your head, like, oh, here they come? Um, you know, it, it, it's a game of runs, you know, of course. They're going to have their little run. But I think I think we did take our foot off the gas a little bit, which we shouldn't sure have. And that's that's not a great winning quality. But, you know, of course, my teammates, the, the strong kids they are, the strong people they are, young men they are, they, they kept their head up. You know, we they was having their little run. We stayed poised and, you know, composed. So... My teammates, we all came together. That's one thing about us. Our brotherhood is showed very much. We all come together, you know. We ain't fold, and, you know, we stayed there, and we, we got things done. Look, man, a win, a win is a win in March. In the next 24 hours, getting ready for tomorrow night. We all know the deal. We, we, we talked about the curse a little bit the day before yesterday, but you as a leader on this team, as a senior, what is your role in getting these guys right to come back out here 24 hours from now and win the championship? I think I told you before, surviving events. I'll take a, a, a nasty win of a loss any single day. But, um, you know, we, I, I'm going to just get my teammates to understand, like, you know, just embrace the moment. You know, we ain't got to do nothing different. You know, it's, we've been playing this game for a very long time. We've been playing the whole season, you know. We just played two games, you know. Same thing. We don't, we don't got to change anything. I think we just got to buckle down on defense like we've been doing these past two days. That's been the main thing. That's been our battle cry. Just playing defense. You know, our offense is going to come. Like I said, we got, we got great players, you know. If I'm not having a night, I, I'm pretty sure somebody else will. You know what I mean? So, like. Credit to my teammates, the dudes that come off the bench that don't even get noticed. Stafford, Trueheart, Omar, Caleb, Kevin, like they, they don't get noticed, but they come in the game in the first half, give us big minutes whenever they can, you know, and they go out there and do what they do. But they don't, they don't show on the stat sheet sometimes, you know, they it may show on the stat sheet sometimes, but it don't all the time, so, you know, but they come in there giving us defense, you know, energy, picking us up every single time. They stay positive no matter how much they play, and that's a big credit to my team. It shows what type of, like, young men we are out there.